Good morning, folks. The Mobile Observatory is trekking around the Rockies right now, showing the tiny observer the magnetic vortices. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's get to it at spaceweathernews.com and peek in on the last day on our star, peeking in so as not to wake him. All is calm, and the primary eruption threat remains those plasma filaments north of the coronal hole, passing Earth-facing longitudes today. The solar flaring has hit the floor and flatlined, like I said, asleep. Still no sunspots on the disk. White areas want to make them, but can't find the strength. Solar wind at Earth is dropping in intensity as well. Things are all calm here now, but sometime between Friday night and Saturday night, I expect the solar wind stream from this dark coronal hole to arrive. Eyes on the telemetry as we enter the weekend. After seismic activity and major rainfall left landslide risks in Japan at their highest marks, they luckily evacuated this area one day early. Let's get to our top stories. We're at Ceres, where the bright spots just got another reason to be relevant. They say it's sodium carbonate, not to be confused with carbonite, where Han Solo spent a couple of years back in the 80s. An asteroid cannot have delivered this compound, they say. It must have had water around to make it. And they do not think an asteroid impact pulled it up. Mysteries abound. Interesting paper out detailing the radiation effects of a nearby supernova, including remarks on past events here on the planet Earth and potential evolution and mass extinction. We also have a very fun citizen science project proposed whereby we'd look for disappeared objects in the sky as evidence of super advanced civilizations in the past. Very cool. Not so cool, though, is a major algae bloom hitting two counties in Florida, and it is so extensive and so toxic that a state of emergency has been issued for the area. Folks, if you didn't catch our upload from Tuesday night, it is linked for you below this video, or you can easily search for it and find it on Google or YouTube. If we're going to put it all on the line and challenge the USGS, we will also be responding to dissent and critique on the topic been waiting to get in the ring with Dr. Strong anyway. Please check out that video if you have not already seen it, and most say this puts the best perspective on the numbers, and as always folks, everything we do from these morning news to the websites, Mobile Observatory, and the conferences is supported by you at suspiciousobservers.org. You're all greatly appreciated. Speaking of the conferences, next one is coming up spring of 2017 in Albuquerque, just about full up on the speaker list, waiting for the last confirmations. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in southern Colorado Springs. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.